Hi, good morning. The purpose of this video is to show you how to put the rigid bronchoscopy together from Carl Stortz. You're going to pick your rigid bronchoscopy tube of choice. The first thing you'll do is put your uh, Racine adapter on. It'll only go in one way. Once you put the Racine adapter on, you're going to want to put the prismatic light deflector in. This pushes in twice. You really only want to push it in once. If you push it in twice, pull it back once. It'll keep the port open. You're going to want to put on a instrument guide. When you put this on, you turn it, you'll hear it click. You want to put a gray nipple over the top of that. That'll keep the anesthesia from coming out. At this point, we want to load this up with the rigid scope in preparation for the patient. You'll take the bridge, push the bridge on. This simply pushes on. You then want to take, if this is pediatric, a rigid telescope, a 10-324-A8, green for zero degree, and you're going to load this up, lock it on, and then you're going to provide light to this, and now the rigid bronchoscopy tube is ready to be used. You'll put the camera on, white balance it, and get ready for the patient. Now if you're using jet ventilation, Simply take the Racine adapter off. You're going to plug it with the plug. You're going to pull off the instrument guide. And you're going to put the jet ventilation adapter on. And that's what that looks like. It's a literal lock here. Okay? So let's say we're not going to use that. The instrument guide goes back on. Plug comes out. Racine adapter goes back on. Now what you want to do is you want to load the optical forcep of choice. We have multiple optical forceps. The one I've chosen today is a peanut grasper. You're going to take the peanut grasper and load up the rigid scope. Another zero degree 120 ATA scope is for pediatrics. Simply load this, lock it on. Then you're going to want to also provide a light cord for it. Now at this point, before the patient ever comes in, you have your rigid bronchoscopy set up, ready to go. You have your optical forcep set up, ready to go. You're going to want to put your telescope guide together. Just put the sill bonnet over the top of this. Now what happens is the patient's brought in, the patient's put down, the head is suspended. The surgeon will then take the rigid bronchoscopy tube that's completely loaded up, put the camera on, insert this into the patient with the head suspended, look for the foreign body in the, either the esophagus, if this was an esophagoscopy tube, but for this sake, it's bronchoscopy, locate and identify the foreign body. At this point, the surgeon, once identified the foreign uh, body, the surgeon just pulls this whole thing out, plugs it with his thumb or her thumb, you take the telescope guide, put it over the top, plug it up with your thumb, move the camera from the optical forcep, from the rigid bronchoscopy uh, telescope to the optical forcep. This simply goes into the rigid tube, down to the foreign body with the camera on here, identifying the foreign body, grabbing the foreign body, and pulling the whole thing out of the patient, and you're done. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.